Hey y'all, this is Lionheart with Fellowship of the Trail again. We are on our scare-tacular weekend. So I decked out my car, I'm staying out here for the weekend, and first stop is in Redding, Pennsylvania for an event called Shocktoberfest. Dude, I'm just here, got, I just got here, and it is super cool. The atmosphere is really neat. Whole different vibe than Field of Screams so far. So let's get in there. Hayride first. We're getting our night kicking off good. So here is to plenty of scares. Sans ça va. Grab your drinks, down the hatch, and off we go. So minus one little mishap, you do need to get a wristband. So I got here and I just came from Field of Screams and they just scan your phone at each entrance and scan your ticket. But here, they don't do that. You have to actually take your QR code to the front, pardon me, and then grab a wristband. So. Just you know. Wait, 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 wait. All right, attraction number one is done. Done the hayride. I would say uh, it's a good intro level. So if you haven't done scare parks before and you get jumpy, this is a good starting area. Before you hit stuff like Field of Screams, that'll make you shit your pants. But before I speak too much on the scares, now we gotta do a walkthrough. Prison of the Dead. Okay. Nice. Photography, flashlights, or glow sticks. The use of matches or So, Prison of the Dead, super fun. I would definitely say it's not like, okay, I, I, I was in a massive group and they send big groups through, so it makes it way uh, more bearable. <laughs> so you don't get as much of the scare, but I can't say, if you're going in alone solo, it might be more scary, but it is definitely fun and good atmosphere, good vibe. Definitely worth checking out up here so far. Now we're gonna go into the unknown 3.0 and see if I can get a good jump scare going in solo. Enter. Entrada. Uh, right here. All right, here we go. Trying to do this on my own or as much on my own as possible to see if I can jump. Maybe even get a little bit of a scream going. All right. Here the chainsaw's going already. <laughs> okay, that one was so good. The whole way through, no scares until the very, very end as I'm going out the exit. Totally got distracted and then I got the chainsaw came right up at my face and I jumped and screamed, it was great. I'd like you to say hello to my new friend. What's up, Tim? Tim can't talk. He's got a little something in his throat. <laughs> so, I am finding these kinds of attractions to do videos for are difficult because they really don't allow you to take video in the attraction. So, that being said, I did record as much as I could for you guys so you could at least get a glimpse of what it was like here. Um, I'm gonna probably call it a night now. I've hit most all the attractions and I got quite a bit of a drive to get to Philly yet where I'll be getting ready for the next haunted attraction tomorrow night up at Sleepy Hollow Haunted Acres, I do believe. So we're gonna head out. We're gonna find a cool place to crash in the car, eat some food, and then we're gonna get some more scares tomorrow. But for now, that's all, that's a wrap, that's all she said.
That's Shocktoberfest here in Reading, Pennsylvania. Check it out. Mild scares, but fun times.